This is episode number 35, and it's SEO in 2017. What's up, fish fans? This is Marcus, and I'm Ren, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish weekly vlog. Each week, we aim to bring you guys pure marketing value. During our week-to-week -week here at Bluefish, we find that clients have questions or don't understand certain things in marketing and advertising space. So we do our best to address these common questions right here on this vlog. Yep, and this week we're addressing search engine optimization, informally known in the industry as SEO. Now SEO is one of those spaces that can get a bit confusing, especially for anyone that isn't part of this industry. Not to mention, Google and other search engines seem to be updating their algorithms weekly to keep us on our toes. So today we're gonna to explain what SEO is for those of you who are not familiar, and then really dive into what is working for us in 2017. To keep this week's video from being 97 hours long, we're not gonna be explaining things that an intermediate marketer would already be familiar with. I'm super excited about this one. SEO is my favorite area of discussion, mainly because so many tactics are debatable and there is no definitive guide to SEO strategies. So fasten your seatbelts, this is gonna be a good one. So let's start out with an explanation of what SEO is, just to build a base for this topic. So SEO is anything that you might do in order to help your website rank higher in the search engine. So normally those, that's known as uh, search engine ranking, um, but SEO is all of the things that you do to the website, and also it's kind of become a more general term in just anything that you're doing to affect your ranking with Google. So now that you have a clear understanding of what SEO is, Let's dive into some tactics that have proven relevant in 2017. So if you've been watching us for a while, you've heard us talk about influencer marketing. However, did you know that it can be extremely valuable in your SEO game as well? Since influencer marketing has exploded, it's gonna become even more relevant as time goes on. Why is this, you're asking us? Well, because Google crushed shady SEO tactics when they uh, launched Penguin or dropped the Penguin update, which is running in real time. On top of that, influencer marketing is effective in SEO because it's the easiest way to get credible backlinks and traffic and natural exposure. All right, so next up, content marketing. Outside of social media, so few people do it correctly on a small business or local level. Every piece of content you create should have a plan and a purpose behind it. For example, it could be an article for your target keyword you want to rank or a long tail variation of your main keyword which supports your top content but your content must be engaging or your visitors will bounce. And bouncing is basically when somebody lands on Google because they've searched for those keywords, they click on your link, and then when they get to the page, they decide, no, that's not what I was looking for. Now, user experience is an extremely important ranking factor that is heavily weighted by Google and other search engines. The average time people spend on your content and your bounce rate numbers must be better than your competitors or they will outrank you. Playing off of Marcus's points, here are some tips on how to create engaging content. Include images and videos in your content. Make sure to SEO those images and videos in your post. Side note, Bluefish has a great article published on our blog, written by yours truly, on how to do this if you're unfamiliar with the process. You wanna always include outbound links in your publications and make sure that they open in a new window when clicked. Kind of a reason for this is, if I click an article and link out and leave your website, now I'm on this website and maybe I can't na navigate back to consume the content that I was trying to consume in the first place, right? Just a little side note. Mobile responsiveness is more important today than ever. 67% of website visits are via mobile devices, yet according to Google, almost 22% of sites are not designed to be responsive at all. The majority of these sites are local service providers, mom and pop style entities. So. Think to yourself, is your site mobile responsive? Is it providing a good front-end user experience? On top of design, your website's speed is a huge factor and it really matters. Ensure that you have quality hosting provider and if at all possible, do not purchase a shared hosting plan. If you want more information on this, hit up Marcus, he'll just tear it down for you. This will slow down the website and hurt your overall SEO score. About two years ago, I wrote a blog post on Expression Engine now, Expression Engine is one of the content management systems that we use to build out websites for our clients, and I did a deep dive into the functionality of this system and really drilled into the nuts and bolts. Now, Expression Engine is for serious web developers and has an extremely high bar of entry for actually building out a website in it, but it's really simple for our clients to use, which is why we use it. So that made this an extremely niche topic to write about, though. As I was writing this blog post, I knew that I would get some traffic, but I assumed it wouldn't be much, 
since this was a small niche. This post was published almost two years ago or longer. It may have been like four years ago, and yet it is our most visited blog post to date. And why? Well, the more specific your content, the smaller the target audience, but they're gonna be hyper-engaged. And what we've also noticed about this particular article is it's a long article, which is not normally good, but in this instance, the time on page is something like seven or eight minutes. And so what that means is they're actually reading the content. You need a ton of very specific content to get good search traffic with Google. And with so much content being published on such a regular basis, it's really important to niche down and you'll reap the rewards. Creating relevant content around your niche is key to winning in SEO in 2017. The most recent studies show that getting your website higher in search rankings involves factors that are rooted in relevancy more so than ever. The pages that contain the most relevant content to each search are appearing higher in the search results. Previously, this could be manipulated by a little title tags, meta phrases, keyword stuffing, so on and so on. But now the crawl bots are smart enough to read the content and comprehend the points that you're trying to get across. You also need to pay special attention to your on-page SEO as it relates to the semantically related keywords around your main keyword. Google rolled out Hummingbird that Ren mentioned earlier a few years ago, and they started taking related keywords into account for rankings for key terms. If you want to rank well for brown shoes, talking about other types of shoes in your content will help your rank. This tactic is called optimizing for your TF IDF scores. While it is not a new tactic, it has become much more effective and necessary in recent years. Winning at SEO is all about knowing what tools to use in the correct situations. Whether you're conducting keyword research, launching a content marketing campaign, or trying to track your ROI, you will need to know which tools give you easy, intuitive, and accurate insights. In 2017, voice and mobile continue to dominate how and where users decide to spend their time and money. Optimizing for semantic language and understanding context of keywords will be crucial. Look, 60 plus percent of searches are via mobile devices. Don't you think you should allocate at least 60% of your efforts here? We do. Google loves to see speed in a website, and you should as well. There are some restrictions with AMP though, so you're gonna need to keep these in mind. First up, Google has detected older content, and therefore you'll need to modify any newer content from the original version with a chronological tag for AMP pages. Next up, you got schema markup, and this is a requirement for your content to have the opportunity to appear in Google Search News Carousel. Implementing schema is a vital step in the online marketing process and will continue to be a needed strategy to better communicate with the search engines to increase the CTR click-through rate in 2017 and beyond. There's a ton more that we could cover, but that's all we have time for today. If you have any additional questions, our in-house forensic SEO scientist, Ren, would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. If you're on Facebook, give us a like and a share. Tag somebody, guys, that could use this information. If you're on YouTube, hit that big subscribe button and be notified each week when we dish out amazing and valuable content. As always, thanks for the love. and We'll catch you guys next week when we discuss hashtag hacks, the do's and don'ts of hashtags, what they are for and how to use them properly. Mark Nasty, Mark Nasty, good game.